title of the speech is Be Heard. Be Heard, Ian Alo. Those masses of friends, I want you to answer this very important question. Can you hear me? Yes. Simple words. Simple question. Simple question that warrants an answer. Yes or no. Despite the simplicity of that question, mind you, it has depth on it. During the first five years of my life, I didn't talk much. In fact, I do not speak at all. My mom back then is so worried about me, she started to ask me, what is the big problem of my youngest son? And then, on my fifth birthday, my mom is surprised. I speak a lot. I talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Imagine the first five years of her life, everything that you have heard, everything that you have read, everything that you have eavesdropped, all from your mental capsule exploded. And you're excited to talk about it, to talk to your playmates, to talk to other kids. And yes, the kids are excited. Believe me. <laughs> one by one, my playmates leave me. And then my mom saw that. And she's worried. And she asked me. What is the problem of my youngest son? Then, my mom being a firm person, she told me, Son, if you want to be heard, listen. Alright. I do not understand. When I was 16, I'm usually kept in myself. I wanted to share things, to add value to other people, but I do not know what to do. I'm very, very clueless. And then, one day, my advisor invited me to this leadership seminar for high school students. And then, 16 years old, with nothing else to do, I went to that meeting place, 7 o'clock in the evening. And I saw this guy, short, bald, tan, and yet, when I listened to him, he's a good speaker. Not only that, it's very engaging. So engaging that he listened to his participants even after the meeting. Yes, even after the meeting. Even after the seminar. What kind of budget is this? I ask myself, He's small, unlike me. He's tan, unlike me. He has shiny head, unlike me. And yet, people listen to him. As years go by, I made a connection to this guy. He invited me over to his seminars. And because of that, at the process, he became my mentor. And I noticed, day in and day out, he listened to his business. Day in and day out. And then, it 
dawned on me my mom's words when I was five years old. Son, if you want to be heard, listen. That's it. Listening. If I listen more to other people, people will be engaged to listen to me. And because of that, I began to listen to other people's stories, their lessons, their life stories, their knowledge being passed to me. And then suddenly, one by one, people began listening to my stories. People began listening to my words. And I said, finally, people are listening to me. People are listening to my stories, even if they don't understand. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, friends, if we listen to other people first, we, we shall be listened to at the long run. How about you, fellow pastors? Do you have more time to listen at this day and age of elevator pitch and short attention span? Go against the heaven. Listen to other people. Now, fellow pastors, can you hear me? Yes. I heard you because we listen to one another. Fellow pastors and friends, be heard. Brothers, chairs.